In Excel, if you create a table, you get some built-in sorting options. Here I have some data and I'm going to create a table by going to the Insert tab, click Table. It detects the range for the cell that I had selected. I do have headers, I'll click OK, and there's a formatted Excel table. There's a drop-down in each heading cell and that has some sort, so small to large, large to small, or you can even sort by color. You can also do filtering from that drop-down. There are other sorting options though that aren't available from that drop-down. I'm going to put conditional formatting icons on this quantity column. I'll select the cells where I want conditional formatting, go to the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting, Icon Sets, and I'll select these traffic light symbols. And now based on the value in each cell, there's a colored icon. Once you have those, perhaps you'd like to focus your attention on these yellow, the middle range, and see if they could be improved in any way. So with one of those cells selected, right click, sort. Now you could sort by the icon in the selected cell or even the font or cell color from that selected cell. I'll put the selected icon at the top. So there are the yellow ones, the others aren't sorted. And now you can focus your attention on the icons that are at the top of the list. The command that lets you sort by a selected cell icon is only available if you right click on a cell. But once you've added cell icons or even font color or cell color, you can go back up to the arrows in the table headings and sort from there. So here, if I click sort by color, I can see the icon colors in that column. So if I want the red ones at the top, I can click on it there. So the selected cell sorting is only available by right clicking, but you can sort by color from the table headings. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.